rowdy partner. This cooperative game is big enough for the both of us. You like that? Howdy friends, the loot train's loaded and the horse minis are saddled, so let's learn how to play Train Heist from Cryptozoic Games. Wait, my hat. This Cowboy Caper Co-op features two to four players working together to steal loot from the corrupt sheriff aboard his luxurious locomotive. The elaborate setup for Train Heist varies depending on the amount of players. I'll be demonstrating for a four player game. The setup is gonna go right quick, so don't you worry, I'll explain it all. First, you're gonna place two horse minis, like so, and the player's cowboy minis in Crackpot Canyon. But look at this. He fits on the horse. He fits on the horse and, okay, there's the mini. They're on the horse together. This is the greatest mini I've ever seen in any game. <clears throat> First, place two horse minis and the player's cowboy minis in Crackpot Canyon. And then randomly draw 12 loot tiles from the bag and place them in stacks of two on the square loot spaces on the train map. Place the first train car on the star next to town A and the four remaining train cars behind it going counterclockwise. Drop the sheriff on passenger car B and place the three bullet tokens on their spaces just above the event deck. Shuffle the wanted cards and place five face up next to the board. Throw the remaining cards at your camera operator. Place the switch tokens on the arrow spaces. The top track starts with the red switch and the bottom starts with green. Set the hangman marker on the top knot of the noose. Whoop. Set the small train speed meter arrow to one and the large train heist meter arrow to zero. You may also set a target score to achieve with the goal marker anywhere between 10 and 20. If you're not a chump, you'll set it to 20. Shuffle and deal five poker cards to each player. Put the remaining cards down to create the poker deck and flip the top card to create a discard pile. Keep your piles neat. Finally, you're gonna build your event deck. Set aside the two train speed up cards and then shuffle the event cards. Then in a four player game, you're gonna remove nine cards Place the two train speed up cards in roughly the top and bottom halves of the deck. You just don't want them both to be at the top, both at the bottom, or right next to each other. The play begins with the player who last rode a train. Whoop whoop! I make train sounds! I've never ridden a train. Each player has four heist actions and unlimited free actions to use on their turn. Heist actions include moving. One heist action allows a cowboy to move one adjacent space. You can move either on the main board or along the train board. But first you gotta hop on that train by getting real close to it on the main board. Additionally, a cowboy may roll or leap off the train to an adjacent space, depending if they're on the roof or between the cars. A horse mini must be on the spot right next to the train for the cowboy to make this daring rooftop jump. Yeah, yeah. Move a horse. By playing a poker card like this one, a player may move a horse mini a number of spaces as written on the card. You can move a horse you are currently riding or you can move a riderless horse. To me, my steed! That's how I call a horse. <clears throat> you could also Loot the train! If the green player wants to loot this train, he'll have to satisfy the conditions on the top of these two tiles by playing the poker cards from his hand. We've got two loot and three keyholes. These three keyholes satisfy the three keyholes on this tile and the two on this one. Double duty. But once you've picked up loot, you cannot pick up more loot until you've dropped it off. When looting, if you use a wild card, the sheriff will move one space closer to the active player. Next, you could drop off that loot. If a cowboy is on a town space, they can set aside their loot, pull new tiles from the drawstring loot sack, and place them on the town. Then they can return their loot into the sack. 
For each return tile, move that heist meter one spot closer to its goal. You could also flip a switch. If a cowboy is on a switch space, by expending a heist action, a player can flip the switch, changing the direction of the train. If the train goes off the map on one end, it reappears on the opposite side, kind of like that train station in the third Matrix movie. Just kidding. I understand if you didn't see it, it's not that good of a movie. Jake saw it and he really likes it and he put it in the script. You could trade cards. If you share a space with another cowboy, you can use a heist action to trade cards. But each player is limited to five max at any time. No more trades than that, that's all you get. Take a bullet. No, I don't mean get shot. I mean you can reserve a bullet token with your heist action, which can be used in future turns to gain a bonus heist action. Escape from jail. If you are caught by the sheriff, a cowboy will be locked up in the jail car on the train map. After losing all their loot, bullets, and poker cards, a player has to use their heist actions to draw from the poker deck, attempting to draw key cards. Once a player draws a key card, they discard all others drawn. After three key cards are found, a player can break out of jail to an adjacent space and draw back up to five poker cards. Keep in mind, each jailed player is forced to shovel coal on the train, increasing the train speed by one for each round they're in there. Free actions include mounting or dismounting a horse or playing a card ability from your poker hand. By discarding a combination of cards from your hand, the player will gain a special reward. If you've got a pair, you gain one extra heist action this turn. Three of a kind gets you two extra heist actions, and four of a kind gets you three extra heist actions that you have to use this turn. If you have a four card straight, you could flip a switch token from anywhere on the board. A wild card will allow you to move the sheriff one space from his current location on the train map to an adjacent space on the train map. Some things to note. After a player finishes their actions, the train is moved a number of spaces forward based on the train speed meter. Since we're at two, I'll move two train cars from the back to the front. If a train moves over a star, an event card is drawn and takes effect immediately. If that star is in front of a town, after the event card happens, all the town's loot tiles are placed aboard the train car of the corresponding letter. Any towns without tiles in them forces the hangman's marker to lower one knot, so make sure you're constantly delivering loot to the towns. Also, if the train goes under a tunnel, any cowboys on that roof are gonna fall off, obviously. Their mini is gonna get placed back in Crackpot Canyon, laying down, and then that player will lose their next turn. The corrupt sheriff moves through the train at the whim of both the event cards and any wild cards played during the loot the train heist action. If the sheriff ever enters the same space as a cowboy, that player's mini will go to jail immediately and start shoveling some coal. The event deck can also create Cherokee tokens with cards like this one. By placing the token next to the corresponding cacti, that space and the track next to it become impassable unless the cowboy is aboard the train. Wanted cards provide a permanent game bonus. By fulfilling the mission requirements on the front of the card, a player will get the special bonus on the back of the card and get a cool new name. For example, Crazy Becca. And that's Train Heist. The game ends in victory when players have reached the target on the heist meter. However, should the hangman's marker reach the noose, all the players lose. Alternatively, if the last event card is played, both railroad switch tokens are immediately removed from the board. If the train reaches one of these two junctions before the train heist meter reaches the goal that you set at the start of the game, the game's over and you lost! Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Make sure you check out twitch.tv slash geekandsundry and projectalpha.com to see my show, Game the Game, where we play cool games like this one and many others. Adios, cowboys. <laughs>